Hey guys, DC Vlogs. Thanks for checking out the video. Today, we're going to be going over how to uninstall and reinstall, uninstall and install um, your muzzle brake on your AR-15. Um, I'm putting on a Troy Arms, or a Troy Medieval muzzle brake, and uh, I'll be doing a review on that in another video. Um, all you need is a 3 4 wrench. If you have standard, be careful. Or if you have metric, be careful, you might strip it. Here's my stock muzzle brake that I'm taking off. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do it. If it's real tight, you could put it in a vise, but I suggest not doing that in case you, the vise isn't tight enough. You can mark up your barrel or do even worse. But I'm going to show you how I did it, and uh, you guys can do it however you'd like. All right, so first off, let me show you what's unloaded. Gun is unloaded. I'm going to push the bolt forward though just for the sake of the fact that I'll be sitting on it to take it off. It'll probably close the bolt anyway. So I don't want to scratch it up on my on my uh, garage surface of cement. So I got a towel. I got a little wood platform that I had laying around. So I'm going to be careful with your scope too. So I'm going to throw this towel over top of the barrel. I'm, I'm actually sitting on the gun. All right. Now you can hold the stock with your other hand and just lift up with this hand and sitting on it makes it real easy and it just screws right off. So at this point you got to be really careful until you get another one on there because that's your crown right in there and that's the last spot that the bullet touches before it leaves the barrel. So. If you mess up that crown, your accuracy, you, you're going to need to recrown it, which costs some money. Alright guys, here's my Troy Medieval muzzle brake. Read a lot of reviews on a bunch of different muzzle brakes, and they were all like 90 bucks. I really wanted the Dragon Slay from F1 Firearms, but I wasn't about to spend $90 on a, uh, on a muzzle brake. So I got this little guy for 40, 40 or $45, which to me is still crazy. It looks like it came a little dirty, which was weird, but, you know, it's no biggie. So you have, on this, you have one slot on the up, and one on the, on the top, and one on each side, and then nothing on the bottom. Alright, so they didn't specify, this, this uh, washer is angled. Um, it's got a little angle. So, they didn't specify which side you should put towards the gun and which side should go towards the muzzle brake. So I'm going to just put it on the way I think, which is with the angle facing out. Um, and then obviously you just screw it in. This one's longer than my stock one. Screw it in until it's hand tight. It's going to take a lot to crush this washer and get this where you need it to be. I'm sitting on the, the barrel. I got my hand on the stock. And this hand wrenching it down oh and I'm almost there I did this before I filmed it um, which definitely probably crushed the washer already just a little bit more perfect alright guys check that out so you want that image little symbol right on the top Awesome. I'm gonna be showing you guys. Oops. I'm gonna be showing you guys a uh, a review of this. I'm gonna be showing you me shooting it with my normal um, with my normal uh, sword with my normal brake muzzle brake, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys with this. To see if you can tell the recoil difference and stuff. Um, be looking out for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, just a little simple instructional video in case anyone didn't know. Um, I'll see you guys later.